Today we're going to be looking at corresponding multiplication and division facts, which means for every multiplication that you know, you can make at least two corresponding division facts. And it works the other way around as well. For every division fact that you know, you can make a multiplication fact. We know that multiplication and division are kind of interchangeable. They are the opposites of each other. So what do I mean by this? If I have 10 times 3, which gives me an answer of 30, I can also make a corresponding division fact. And all I have to do is swap the numbers around. I need to change it. So I'm going to put my biggest number first, which was 30. And instead of using our times operation, I'm going to use divide instead. And now I have two numbers left to choose from. And it doesn't matter which one I choose. It could be either 3. And I put in my remaining number, which is a 10, to give me a corresponding division fact of 30 divided by 3 equals 10. But I could also have done 30 divided by 10 equals 3. And this works for any multiplication fact that you want to do. So, for example, if I did 6 times 11, which equals 66, and I thought... What's the corresponding division fact? I'm going to put my big number first, 66, divided by, let's say, 11 equals 6. Or I could do 66 divided by 6 equals 11. Both of these are corresponding division facts. And I can also do it the other way around as well. So if I have 20 divided by 4 equals 5, I can change this into a corresponding multiplication fact. This time I can choose any of the smaller numbers to have first, but I'm going to choose 5 because it is the bigger one of those two. So I'm going to have 5, and then times because I'm reversing it, I'm trying to find the multiplication fact, 5 times 4 equals 20. An extremely simple com uh, concept that I'm sure you'll be able to do very easily at home.